Sell in May and go away? Be my guest if you don't like making money. You'll often hear traders talking about how it's a good idea to sit out the stock market in the summer and early fall. There are a couple of supposed reasons why this makes sense. Volume is a little lighter because the traders are all going to the beach. You don't have as much news. And then you have a lot of volatility typically in September and October. But you know what? If you sat out the months of May through October for the past few years, you missed out on two big rallies in 2013 and 2014 and a little bit of a gain in 2012 as well. This rule just doesn't make any sense. Timing the market is not easy, even for the pros. It's always better to just ride out the volatility. No one likes losing money or at least losing it on paper, but stocks often do rebound. And like I said, stocks didn't even go down all that much or at all for the past three May through November periods. Now, does this mean that stocks are guaranteed to go up this May through November? Of course not. But if they do fall, it's gonna be because of something that the Fed does, something that happens overseas, or something with earnings. It's not gonna be because of this silly rule about the calendar that just isn't true.